Bonjour. Bienvenue au chapitre 3, vocabulaire 2. So, we've learned about fruits and vegetables and a few other things that we can buy at stores. Now let's learn about some of the stores where you can buy the items. Faire les courses. This is a phrase we've had before. Faire les courses means to go grocery shopping to run errands. J'ai besoin du pain, du jambon et du bœuf. I need some bread, some ham, and some beef. Notice that in regular English, we probably would not say, I need some bread, some ham, and some beef. We would just say, I need bread, ham, and beef. But the French do this, and this is through partitive articles. We'll talk about these later. Um, it's one of our grammar points. So, if you look, we have la boucherie, uh, la charcuterie, et un boulanger, une boulangerie pâtisserie. Um, okay. So, la boucherie is where you buy beef, chicken, goose, or geese, ducks, veal, almost any kind of meat except for pork. So, la boucherie is your butcher shop. You go here and you talk to le boucher or la bouchère, the male butcher, the female butcher, and you would buy beef and other viand. La charcuterie is commonly known as a pork butcher, but they have evolved into more of a deli. This is where you're going to get pork products. Lots of different types of hams that you probably could never imagine existed. Um, bacon, pork chops, and then also sausages and other types of, of prepared foods. You can also, you know, go in and buy the ingredients for a meal already prepared. You would talk to la, charcut la charcutier or la charcutière. Um, la boulangerie. Lately, well, in the last decade, uh, the bakery, la boulangerie, has combined with la pâtisserie, uh, the pastry shop. You can still find these individualized, and the boulangerie is where you're going to find lots and lots of different types of breads, croissants, and every now and then a little pizza, and maybe a couple of little non-complicated baked goods. Uh, la boulangère and la boulanger are your female baker and your male baker, and you're going to find pain here, du pain, which is bread. La pâtisserie. This is the sugar lover's dream. This is your cake shop. You'll get eclairs. You'll find um, uh, cream puffs and cakes and pies and tarts and anything your heart could desire. It's almost like um, forbidden fruit looking inside the window of one of these. La pâtissier and la pâtissière are your male pastry chef and your female pastry chef. And here you're going to buy gâteau, uh, which is cake. Je voudrais du poisson. I would like some fish. À la poissonnerie, this is where you're going to go to buy fish. The fish market. Un omar is a lobster. Des crevettes are shrimp. Des huitres, oysters. Des fruits de mer, assorted seafood. If you got a mixed seafood platter, this is what it would be. In fact, the picture at the top is des fruits de mer. So let's break it down. Le poissonnier is your... Um, fish salesman. La poissonnière is the female fish sales person. La poissonnerie is the fish store. 
uh, and le poissonnier and poissonnière are different than like a fisherman that's a pêcheur. Le poisson is fish, les fruits de mer, les huîtres, le homard, told you on the uh, preceding slide. Charles de Gaulle said, you can unite the French only through fear. You simply cannot bring together a country that has over 265 kinds of cheese. Now, today, some people say that it's closer to a thousand. Um, there are, it varies from decade to decade. The last time I looked, there were 435 official cheeses, but then some other sites said that there were only 338, so it's difficult to say exactly how many official cheeses there are in France. And remember, the cheeses are made from cow milk, goat's milk, ewe's milk, you know, sheep, uh, even camel's milk. So, la fromagerie is where you're going to find all of this. Uh, the cheese shop. And le fromage is cheese. Now, la crèmerie is where you would find milk and butter and eggs and yogurt. Um, and again, in this, these economic times, la fromagerie and la crèmerie often combine. Uh, so you can buy both in one shop. And you can buy eggs by un douzain, which is a dozen. Um, and in some stores, you can even buy them singly. Since the French shop every day, they're, li they're more likely to buy things in smaller quantities. Okay, so at La Cremerie, you could buy de yaourt, yogurt. Un douzaine d'œuf, a dozen eggs. Un fromagerie, you're going, that's your cheese store. You can buy a morceau de fromage. Um, des fromages, cheeses. And these words you don't need to know, but these are four of the eight official designations of cheese. The categories of cheese, I suppose. Oh, supermarché. At the supermarket, masculine, you would find la cassière, the cashier, des chariots, which are your buggies, un sac en plastique, you usually have to pay for this, or you can bring your own un sac de, en tissu, which is a fabric bag. Um, we've had an Aldi open in our town lately and so in France and most of Europe if you go to a grocery store you have to put a coin in a euro coin uh, used to be a five franc but now you put a coin in and you get the buggy loose and you go shop and then whenever you you put it back you get your your euro back or your franc or whatever it was okay À la pisserie. Sorry, à la pisserie. This is when I was taking French. This was described as your green grocer. You could go and buy some fruits and vegetables that were fresh, and then you could go in and buy some a few canned goods. Um, today, it's kind of that way, but it's also become more of a convenience store where you could go and get a few frozen goods and. Um, canned goods, maybe a few fr fresh fruits and vegetables, water, and some other things. So, here are some things you could find. La soupe, la confiture, which is jam or jelly, de l'eau, water, les pâtes, pa pasta, la pisserie, again is the green grocer, uh, le jus de fruits, is fruit juice. You hear my dog. So you can have la PCA and la PCR, which are your grocers. Uh, you'll have un case, which is your cash register, with un cassier and un cassier, cashiers. 
You can get des boîtes de conserve, which are canned goods, un litre de jus d'orange, which is a, a liter. This, what I'm doing right now are measurements you might buy things in. Un litre is, you know, less than a quart. So you can get that of orange juice or milk. Des bouteilles de l'eau, bottles of water. Un paquet de pâte, a package of pa pasta. Un pot de confiture, a jar of jam. Questions and answers. Qu'est-ce qu'il qu qu vous faut? What do you need? Il me faut un kilo de pommes de terre, s'il vous plaît. I'm not going to read these because the dogs are about to drive me nuts. But they're here and, what the, and the English is here as well. Pause, copy, memorize. We'll say them in class. And our last part. Madame les produits congelés, s'il vous plaît. Um, where are the frozen foods? A. Au revoir. Et à demain.